In an English country garden, there's always work to be done. But for Joanna O'Callaghan, keeping the lawn in check is the least of her worries. Our house is raised up from the ground by about half a metre. Um, basically, the house sits on piles and there's a void that goes right under the house from this side to the far side. There has to be somewhere for flood water to go should our brook, which is over here, <coughs> flood. Joanna and her husband Martin built their dream home on this family plot in Oxfordshire, South East England, and moved in in 2014. But the land is on a floodplain, so the house had to be constructed to withstand regular inundations. The design was the brainchild of Bakker architects, specialists in houses which embrace living near water. Over the past 12 years, they've come up with a variety of innovative projects, including the UK's first ever so-called amphibious house. An amphibious house is a house that sits on the ground but generally is located near, near a river or a watercourse. And when the site floods, it has a base which is buoyant, which allows the house to move up in the event of a flood, keeping everybody at a safe distance from water. Heavy flooding has plagued the UK in recent years. The winter of 2014 clocked one of Britain's wettest months on record. Many believe the increasingly extreme rainfall is a reflection of climate change. And now, a growing number of Britons are calling for change to environmental policy. Ahead of the Paris Climate Conference, tens of thousands marched through London, armed with both celebrity support and a very clear message. We need those countries to come together and agree on protocols that will bring our uh, fossil fuel emissions down to acceptable levels, and we're going to have to agree it quickly. World leaders from 195 countries are coming together for the conference to agree a legally binding deal on climate change. The aim? To keep global warming less than 2 degrees C above pre-industrial levels by the end of the century. Meanwhile, the architects at Bakker also have their work cut out, sketching visions of a new future which embraces Mother Nature's changing elements rather than fighting against them.